God damn it, I'm getting a f knot in my back. What's up, everybody? I don't know where in 104 that this video will be. This is Gage. Been in a few of the videos so far. Say hi. Hello. Say hi, G, in the comments. Today we got. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be filming some videos today. I don't. I wanted to do a tier list this uh, 104 season, or I don't know if this is gonna be for 104, but we're doing Dragon Ball Z games, and uh, I've played a good amount. Gage has played pretty much f all of them. <laughs> Okay, so basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna do my tier list talk about what I feel about these games And then he's gonna do his tier list and he's gonna talk about what he thinks about them And that's how it's gonna work out right so basically first game is Xenoverse one. Oh, they don't even have Battle of Z in here shit. I guess people fucking hated that game didn't Yeah, they? It, really, <laughs> it really was not good. I for one enjoyed it well, if then I, you're if probably I, the only person. I, I would put Z, I would put Battle of Z in A tier, but Xenoverse when that game came out, I think it was all right. Yeah, Xenoverse. Yeah, A A tier, A tier. It was a good game, fun. Now this one, this is we think. Yeah, th this is definitely Budokai Tenkaichi three. Yeah, that one was fun, but it wasn't. I, I didn't care about it really that much. So I'm gonna make that C tier, right? I ha I have more. I I just have more good memories with Xenoverse than I do with Budokai Tenkaichi three. So we'll just have to deal with it. I know. I don't care. I don't care what you think. Okay? Kind I of don't, aggressive. I don't fucking care, huh? <laughs> kind of aggressive, you fucking <laughs> All right, so Raging Blast and Raging Blast 2. These games were OP, but Raging Blast is not as good as Raging Blast 2. I think we can all agree on that. Raging Blast 2 was just a gym. It was just a gym. I mean, they were both really good, but they both also had their flaws. Yeah. Graphics design, I, I'd prefer to, two, but for yeah. story mode, which, in my opinion, probably could have gone better with the graphics Yeah. for two, but I mean, it's, it's still good overall. Raging Blast 2, did Raging Blast 1 have Super Saiyan 3, Broly, Veg and Vegeta? Yeah, that's whenever it came out. Or that was Raging Blast 2, because I remember Raging Blast 2 having it. Yeah, because Raging Blast 1 had it. Oh, okay. Raging Blast 1 is the one that made it, and then yeah. Raging Blast 2 brought it out as, like, DLC characters again. Yeah. But then again, I played Raging Blast 2 more than Raging Blast 1. That's yeah. that's also why I'm putting Raging Blast lower. Because it's just, like, I'm kind of rating these on, like, I guess, sentimental value, bro. Yeah. Ultimate Tenka- Get up there. Get up there. <laughs> above everything. Ultimate Tenkaichi is just- Above all, okay? I remember <laughs> screaming. I remember raging and also having fun at the same time with Ultimate Tekaichi. I had this guy called Negative Zero. No, I mean Negative. And then I had uh, a second character named Positive. And then a third character named Zay, because I think you can only make three custom characters. <laughs> Which is bullshit now that we're in the future with Dragon Ball Kakarot. I, have, I had so much fun with Ultimate Tekaichi. I remember, yeah man, I remember when I unlocked freaking uh, Omega Shinron in there. I was Freaking hype, dude. Budokai 3, I don't remember it. Actually, yeah, no, not that cool. Budokai 2, I don't think I even played that one. Budokai, same with Budokai 3, because it was like two games in one. You know what I mean? Two games in, in one case, so I kind of didn't play them. <laughs> That's probably Budokai Tenkaichi 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we think, so, okay, wait. So we think this is Budokai what? Budokai Tenkaichi what? 1. 1 and Budokai Tenkaichi 2? Yeah. Because we both know what 3 looks like. Yeah, we both know what 3 looks like. 3 is the one with the green. But mine was different. I had Budokai Tenkaichi 2 for the Wii. And it was Trunks. And it had Super Saiyan 4 and his sword. And it was like, I'll put a picture on the screen if I could find it. But, um, I don't know. So, but we think this is one. We think either, this is two. We, I, I know it's one of the, it's, it, those three are at least the Budokai Tenkaichis. Yeah. I just don't know if I have the numbers mixed up, but oh. I know which one's three for sure. Infinite World is going at the bottom because I didn't play it. Burst Limit. <laughs> I'll save mine Bur for later. Yeah, yeah, bur bur Burst Limit. Okay, Burst Limit. I hardly played it. I remember playing it one time on a Sunday morning. It was it was it was a great morning. All right, yeah, I'm setting this up. You can picture this right fucking now. Burst limit. I'm gonna put it as high as this, even though I didn't play it a lot because of the art style. Burst limit's art is so freaking unique. I love it. Uh, Xenoverse two. I didn't play it, but I we I hang out with Gage and he plays uh, Xenoverse two sometimes. I think Xenoverse two. What was the one that we made? It was Universe 2. We made Donut. Yeah, we made Donut! Yeah, it was Universe 2. And then we made Robert the Donut. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, I, I put it in B because I didn't play through it. You know what I mean? I finished Ultimate Kaichi. Ultimate Tenkaichi. I finished Xenoverse 1. I didn't 
finish Xenoverse 2, but I have seen it, and it's just like Xenoverse 1, but it, it, it goes to B, because nothing's in B, and also, I don't know about it that much, so. Okay, but if this is Budokai Tenkaichi 1, it's gonna go down here, because I didn't play it. Budokai Tenkaichi 2, it goes all the way up here, because of the memories, but these two are legends. OP. As frick. This, this, Budokai, if this is Budokai Tenkaichi 2, it was just a fun game. Wait, that's what we said, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. This is one, this is two. Cool? Cool. Yeah. So this is my tier list. I'm recording, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine? It's like this whole time it was not recording nothing. Tier is spelled with an I-E, right? Not E-I. You're ready. You're set. You can go now. You want to sit in the spot so you can yes. drag and drop? All right, so now here's my opinion on it. I'm going to actually start with the first game that I actually ever did play. I did not play them in order. I know the order that all of them came out, but I did not play them in order. The first one I actually ever played was actually Budokai Tenkaichi 3. All right. And so just because I'm going to be biased about it, I'm, I'm putting it in the S because that is, like I said, it's the first game I ever played. It's the reason why I got into Dragon Ball before I even watched the anime. Mm. Yeah. Then I played Budokai 1. I'm, I'm going to put it in B because I, I didn't really like it as much, but it wasn't bad. Budokai 2, I never played. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I did, but I didn't play a lot of it. Yeah. If I could ever find where I put it, I probably only had like 15% complete. So I, I didn't even get past the Sand Saga on that. So you have set foot in it, you just didn't... Yeah, I, I've played all of you these games. You didn't get like the full experience of it. I've, I've played all of these games. Um, <clears throat> Budokai 3, I've actually completed. Because whenever I got the Super Saiyan 4, I actually liked it. Yeah. That, that was my first appearance to Super Saiyan 4, and then I started watching GT. Super Saiyan 4 was the only reason why I liked GT. And then, okay, that's good. And then, the, I remember the next one I played, Burst Limit. I remember, I woke up Christmas morning back in 2012, and I've been trying to find this game for about three years now. <laughs> and I finally was able to get it, and I got it for Christmas. And I played it. I deleted my save files 30 times a day just so I could replay it again because it was that good. Damn. I like it. It is a great game. I loved it. And it's the graphics game. also made me feel like I was like playing like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Oh yeah, the way that it's laid out, it's yeah. like it's like Especially more like next especially more like Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with Kakarot, Kakarot is awesome, but it's like it's like the uh Tenkaichi tag team and also in Tenkaichi kind of thing. Yeah, and it has great graphics and it got a good story plot. Yeah. Raging Blast? I liked it. I liked it a lot. But um I think what differed for me is that whenever they like made the blast like shoot out it didn't look like it like looked like it was from the show you know what i mean like it just looked like they had like some colored <laughs> scribbles on it yeah but then as for raging blast 2 I'm, I'm still gonna put it in the same as raging blast really one because the only thing that set raging blast 1 and 2 apart is story to unlock somebody, you had to play the story in one, but in two, you had to do some complicated um, bullshit around <laughs> space and time. <laughs> we could have just gone without it, just keep the story, and then it would have been good. The graphics were good, the effects, the lighting, even the transformations looked really good. But there was no story to make it feel like a Dragon Ball game. Okay. If that makes sense. Because I, I really haven't played these games in a while. I've played all of them. I don't them. know. Uh, so, it's I'm been very, a while since I'm I've... gonna critique these to a T. So then... What did we say these were? I think we said the black one was two. Yeah. And then Raging Blast 1, I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it... No, on, you mean uh, Ultimate Tenkaichi 1. I mean, yeah, Ultimate Tenkaichi 1. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it at a C because it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't, but it was by far not great. But seeing how this came out in like 2005, the graphics were still like kind of like choppy. As for like later on in the future, they kind of started getting more like fluent. And then I'm also gonna go with, with um, two. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put it at D because it, it really wasn't good. It, it really wasn't. Okay. In, in my opinion, see, I don't really have a good explanation for that. I just didn't like it. Dang. Not saying that it wasn't the worst game. Yeah. I, I can name a few others, but it wasn't my favorite. Like, like what? Like what? Battle of Gods. Ba Battle. Of I mean, Z. Battle, Battle of Z, and um, uh, I, I'm trying to remember what was the other one, but it, this one was like old, old. It was like for like the GameCube, mm, and so, okay, yeah, so it was like really one. bad. All right. All right. We'll so do. then. Infinite World. Infinite World, I'm gonna put it at B. 
Because if I'm gonna be honest, I liked um I liked the first Infinite World because there was one that oh, they it is Infinite World. Um, so it basically goes over like. All of it, like, excuse me. So, Jesus. you know how in like, um, in Budokai 1, it goes over like the Sand Saga and it stops at like the beginning of Frieza, and then for this one, it goes all the way up to Majin Buu, and then this goes into GD's GT's um stage. Really, yeah, I mean, that's pretty smart. That's how to get money, dude. Yeah, it is. Holy fuck. And they shit. all came out in the same year and this, like relatively the same month. This one came out in like January 2003. This one came out October 2004. They all came out around relatively the same Damn. time frame. It just maybe like a year and a half apart. Damn. Oh man, these last three games, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> these are great. So okay. let's do Ultimate Kaichi last. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so to be honest, I'm gonna put raging I'm gonna put um Xenoverse at at B at B rank. I can see that. Because it was not necessarily that it was bad, but it was also very glitchy on some aspects. Yeah. Like I okay. remember one of the things whenever you started playing it on like the old Xbox 360, when you bought the game, it was like the newest game that you could have just put into your Xbox and it was like a completely different hardware and software on like the discs whenever you would like go into like a battle, sometimes it would just make you quit mid game. Mm, I didn't have any of those problems. I love the story of it though. On yeah, the, I the like the side. I like the, the stories. Side, the story of Xenoverse is awesome. All right, Xenoverse two. Xenoverse two. I'm gonna put it at an A rank because I, I have like so many save files. I have like you have like ten empty slots that you can use, mm -hmm. and I have all ten of those slots <laughs> made. <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> and they're each a certain unique thing. Like I remember, I'll have one as a Saiyan race. I'll have one as a Majin. One as um a Namekian. Yeah, an yeah. Earthling. That's the one that we have donut on too. A fr and a freezer race. And, and oh, just yeah. overall, it's really good. And not only that, back in Xenoverse 1, you couldn't have like certain ultimates or like certain abilities. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I remember, um, I don't remember this that, that much, but I think in Xenoverse 1, you couldn't go Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. Is there that bullshit where you can't go, um, freaking Super Saiyan 3 or something? Yeah, I, I can't remember if you couldn't go 3, but if you could, and then, then, well, then that's just me not knowing my part. But in Xenoverse 1, you couldn't go Super Saiyan Blue, and you couldn't go Super Saiyan Royal Blue. As for this game, you can. That, that wasn't a thing, though. Yeah. Was it? It wasn't a thing. Super Saiyan Blue was a thing, but your, um, but your custom character couldn't have it as a skill. If you, um, if you were any race. Oh. You know what I mean? As oh, like okay. a Saiyan race, you still didn't have that unique ability. All right, now All this right. is now this is my this is gonna be a really difficult one, because I have problems with it, but at the same time I love the game a lot. But I'm still gonna put it at an S at an S tier. <laughs> because because right. I remember. One of my characters, and I didn't even know you could do this. You can edit your character's name. Yeah. I did not know that. So, <laughs> so I had three saves. I, I did a midget, I did a medium height, and then I did an extra tall guy. <laughs> Who's the strongest? The, the, the middle wage. Oh, okay. Like, the middle height. And what's funny is that I actually made it as a code name. Omega Landorus 64. And then I literally just changed it to beep. Literally just beep. Like the beep sound effect. Because every time I played the game, whenever you'd like punch somebody, it sounded like you could hear a beep. Oh, like when they whack, whack, Yeah. Whack. And like every time you could hear it kind of going like beep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just found it really funny. And I think what really set that game up the greatest for me is, well, the graphics. And like not only that. If you hit a character with like an ultimate or even just a standard ass Kamehameha, you tear apart the ground on which that blast is flying yeah. over. And if you, you can destroy a... the world yeah. with an ultimate, it attack. makes you feel like it's a Dragon Ball game. Yeah. The, the closest thing we've ever had to that nowadays is Kakarot. Kakarot, yeah. Because I see you can fly through mountains and stuff. Well, like, you know, a certain type, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is sick. And you can even fly at full speed, and like if you fly to the ground, you start tearing apart the ground. Yep. Man, farmers would be pretty happy. You treading up the ground for them to plant the crops. <laughs> or if they already have the crops made. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Goku just comes out of nowhere. Thank you! 
<laughs> but yeah, those are mine. That's your tier list? Yeah. Dude, you have a pretty even tier list, dude. Hold up. We're about to look at them, compare them. Yeah? Yeah, you have a pretty stable tier list, dude. Yeah, let's compare these. My shit's all, uh... <laughs> scattered brained. Yeah, scattered, dude. Okay, so, this is mine, and this is yours. That one's yours? This is, mostly, it's because I didn't play the majority of them. Or, or, like, I mean, I played, uh, I played three, Budokai three, Budokai, Budokai one, oh, Budokai one. I don't think it had two in it, so, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's, this is my tier list, that's yours. Mine's a little, but see, here's the difference, I've actually played all of these games, so, mine's a yeah. little more thought, like, planned out, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 makes sense, too. Um, but, yeah, uh, this, Raging Blast 2, I enjoyed playing with my cousins. Yeah. Ultimate Takaichi. Oh, my God, there was this one time during Christmas. I went, I went out, and I think we bought fireworks with my cousin. Oh, God. And, uh, when we came back, people were playing the PS3. I was like, all right, what are they playing? <gasps> I heard, go I heard, like, Dragon Ball Z characters' voices. I saw them playing Ultimate Takaichi. I was like, oh, my God, they're playing my <laughs> shit. At first, I was kind of upset, because they were playing my shit. But, at the same time, I was like, hey, guys. Hey, look, it's my game. I feel like I should get to play with y'all. Got room for one more? Yeah. And then I whooped everyone ass. I'm telling you, I am not lying, dude. I kicked everyone's ass. Like, you know how the, the, that game is, like, uh, based on luck? Yeah. You gotta press, like, a certain button and hope to God it's right. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever it's, like, the... Yeah, and then you fight. Yeah. That shit, oh my god, I would get dude, it every time. That would be a good thing. Like, Gage versus Trey. Dragon, <laughs> the game of the century. Dragon dude. Ball Ultimate Tenkaichi. Do you have any stories with yours? Like, one or two games or something? No, I mean... Not really? You I just kind of played them? I, I played them. Um, I, rem I, I remember when I first got them. Okay. Which one was the coolest, the most special? Burst Limit, I guess, for you? Cause you were talking about it? No, actually, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, um, not Xenoverse, um, Tenkaichi 3. Cause that was the first ever game that I actually played. Oh! And that's what got me into the anime, cause I was like, man, if, if this game is anything like the anime, I might actually enjoy it. So I literally started with the first ever series, Dragon Ball. Yeah. And I watched it to completion. Dang. Movie, filler, everything. But I don't recommend watching the filler. That's that's <laughs> point. It's pointless in any anime. Don't watch the filler. Well, cool video, Gage. Cool video. I think that was really cool and thought out and sweet. Yeah. Leave leave a like. And hit that notification. Bye! Beep Tweebot.